this. So we were working at a hotel in the center of the city, and um, we were doing a setup for today's event, which was a live stream, a sound system, and um, live stream sound system projector. Just, just pretty much a, a, a pretty standard setup for us. A pretty standard. What is your real name? Brent. My real name is Brent. That is not a joke. Because who would joke about having the name Brent? That's weird. That's weird. That's such an obscure name that no one would joke about having the name Brent. Um. But yeah, anyway. So I was sitting up. I was sitting up at the hotel that I was at today and yesterday. To set up this event today. Um, and and um, we were sitting up perfectly fine. And, like, this is, the, the lady who, um, is the events organizer at the hotel comes, comes into us. She's, like, she's absolutely, like, over it, over the day. And this is, this was at, like, what, 10 o'clock in the morning? So, like, already at 10 o'clock, she was over the day. She's, like, I can't, I just can't. This is not cool. I can't anymore. I can't, can't. Um, so she she like comes into the room that we're sitting up and she's like i am so over this day i just i just simply cannot honestly um it has been a terrible day basically she had a she had an event that was meant to be um that was like penciled in for that day yesterday um but they didn't like confirm or anything because one of the the lady who was organizing it got sick so they obviously didn't like book it in and they didn't have any catering for them obviously because it was not meant to be sorry i'm playing wiz again um and like i can't even add spells like it's just why <laughs> why is this like this oh my gosh yikes this is pain this is pain oh man um but anyway um What is this lag? Holy moly. I've never seen it this bad. I have never seen it this bad. Holy moly. Anyway, um, um, we, we were sitting up. She's like, it's, it's been a day. It's been honestly a day. I'm over today. I, I want to just go home and cry. And I'm like, you know what? I feel you. Some days I feel like that as well. And she's like, you don't even know the half of it. Basically, um, she had a group. I've already explained this. Um, she had a group that was meant to come in, but wasn't actually scheduled to come in. It was a government, um, organization thing, uh, of, like, 60 people. They, they weren't actually booked in. They were, they were, they had been, like, talked to, but they hadn't actually, like, booked in because the lady got sick to actually book it in, and she didn't, like, delegate it to someone else to, like, book in the, um, hotel. Um, so anyway, they come in at, like, 8 o'clock in the morning, 60 people into the hotel lobby, and they're, like, so we're here for a conference today and the the events organizer is like you're here for the what today there's no conference today um so she she starts stressing out because they're like crowding up the whole like lobby of the hotel and this isn't exactly like a like a rundown sort of hotel this is this is like a, a decent hotel like a really decent hotel here in christchurch um so they're like just standing in the middle of the lobby just like taking up space when it's like peak time for people to come and check in um so she's like uh we, we 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 don't have you booked but if you go go like elsewhere go outside and wait they just stay in the lobby they just stay in the lobby they're cramming it up and she's like i've never had this much anxiety that something bad is going to happen than i had today um so anyway that was the start of the day for her this, this was before we got here so she was already over it and she's like this day is cursed for He's going backwards. Did you see him? He's going backwards. He was going backwards. This 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 whole game is cursed, I swear. <laughs> what the heck? Um, but anyway, it's just like today's cursed. Today is just absolutely cursed, and you're here on the wrong day. So anyway, we, we start our setup. About 15, 20 minutes in, we've we've got the sound system all hooked up and stuff. It was it was going great. And then all of a sudden we hear smoke. We, no, we smell smoke. We don't hear smoke. We smell smoke. And we're like, smoke? Hmm, that's interesting. Where's that coming from? So we like, we like sit around for a good like five minutes. And then the event lady comes back in and she's like, we're like, do you smell any smoke here? And she's like, 
No, I don't. And then she got closer to where we were setting up our um audio mixer. And she's like, oh, it's smoking. Um, guys, we can hear smoke. <laughs> yeah, you can hear smoke now. It's, it's just how it works. Completely how it works. Um, so, so she's like, it's smoking. So we're like, oh, shoot, it's smoking. So we quickly unplug it. And honestly, I'm surprised the fire alarms didn't go off because that was, it was quite smoky. It was quite smoky. <laughs> it was bad. Um, so like we, we unplug it and we like usher it through the whole back halls of the hotel to get it out of the building so it doesn't set off the smoke alarms. Meanwhile, we're trying to find the key to open up the windows because we're on the second floor and the windows are all locked for safety reasons because apparently it's bad if people just like open the window and fall out or something. I don't know. It's a bit strange. Like, who's going to fall out of a window purposefully? I don't know. Um, especially with a second floor. Like, if you're doing anything like that, third floor is better, you know? A second floor is just terrible. Um... <laughs> Um, but yeah, so anyway, we, we rush around trying to find the key, um, who has the key to open it. And the maintenance man comes in later and he's like, man, it smells in here. You guys need to open the window. And we're like, we know, do you have the key? And he's like, yeah, let me go, let me go make a copy for the event, um, lady here. And then, and then we'll, we'll give her one so she can open the windows whenever she wants. And she's like, oh my gosh, this is so nice. I can open the windows to jump out all the time. This is great. Um, so that was fun. So we open up the windows, starts to clear, starts to clear, and we're like, okay, that's fine. You know, one, one, one mixer, you know, it happens, it happens. Some things just explode in smoke or something, you know, that's, that's fine. Fast forward to today. Fast forward to today. Today, the day of the conference. It's super simple. Live stream, I do that all the time. Okay, like, obviously. You know, no, no, not a problem. I can, I can deal with a live stream. That's simple, okay? You know, I, I do worse live streams here at home than I do at work because, like, we've actually got, like, a dedicated, like, like, um, a massive, like, rack built for, like, live streams. Um, so, like, I'm, I know, I know what I'm doing. I, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I, I know what I'm doing. So, anyway, we, we get in. I'm like, yeah, this will be easy. Super duper easy. We set up everything. We do the mic checks. Everything's looking great. The camera looks perfect, apart from the fact that it is too dark. So, that's cool. So, we go and ask, hey, can we turn on some more lights in the room? Because there's, like, on the ceiling of the room, there's, like, the wee little, like, lights that, like, uh, have a wee little bit of glass over them. But like they're like on the ceiling so like the light glass is here and then the light is just above whole bunch of them just never turn on we didn't know this until today until we needed them so we we go up to the event organizer and she's like um i'm pretty sure all of the lights are on and we're like well there's some lights that are not on could you possibly turn those ones on and she's like huh, there are lights that aren't on i've never noticed that before because they've never turned on ever and we're like oh that's cool that's fantastic. I, I love that. It's great. Um, so she's like, I can see what I can do. So she goes over to the light switch. She turns off all of the lights and turns them back on again. And she's like, well, that's all the lights on. <laughs> Meanwhile, the light's still not on. So um, we've, we've got like a room that's like half lit. So the camera is super like super dark because the projector is way too bright. And the camera has like auto... auto um, the way that the camera works with the exposure is that it automatically detects what's the brightest thing and ducks it down. Even if you turn it on to manual, it still does that, which is weird and crazy, and I hate it so much. But anyway, so it didn't solve the problem. So we're like, okay, so now we need to move the lectern so we can actually see um, the, the people at the lectern because it's kind of important to see people. So um, we, we move the lectern into a spot that's not too bad the client comes in and she's like oh that's perfect we wanted the lectern there anyway so we're like sweet okay problem solved looks better not next to the projector screen easy peasy we're, we're all good we're all good so we, we start the we start the conference going well going perfectly well 20 minutes in the monitor that i use to like um display like um i don't i don't know I don't know how to like put this into an easy term but like 
on on our system that we use we've got like a multi-view so you can like switch between like different cameras and stuff and know what's coming up next or what's like ready to go and what is live um and that one just turns off completely so i'm like huh, that's interesting luckily that was the monitor for the room because we have to have two switches because we were switching the projector in the room and then also the live stream which is in a different one uh a different switcher so that's fine i'm like problem solved i i um look at the live stream like menu and it's like unknown status unknown i'm like why is it unknown it was perfect just before and then i realized oh no the internet is gone you guys are gonna think that i'm making the story up I'm not making the story up this actually happened um the internet is gone so i'm like oh absolutely perfect you know what that you know what i like more than having a stream with internet having no stream and no internet it's just amazing so so i'm panicking at this point because like the the clients are paying money for me to live stream their event you know, I'm, I'm getting paid for this, okay? We're getting paid for this. You know, I can't exactly screw this up. Um, so I'm like, huh, what am I going to do? So I, I go to the back of the rack and like, what's wrong? Because clearly something's come unplugged. That's obviously got to be it. I go to the switcher, which is at the back of the rack, which is like where you shove the ethernet cords in or Wi-Fi snakes if you're that, um, if you're that intelligent. Um, you know, you shove the Wi-Fi snakes into the dock and then you take it out and it goes into your computer or whatever problem solved it works it doesn't work because it was shining it was light up it was perfectly fine but it wasn't getting in the internet so that was cool and great and i'm like man this is perfect this is honestly perfect i can't expect anything better from this situation so i i quickly like get on the phone i i hit out of the room and i go and talk to the conference um manager who's at the at the hotel and i'm like hey um please don't panic and she starts panicking immediately i'm like we don't have any internet anymore um and the live stream is currently down C could i have access to the room where to your server room so i can see what has happened so i go into the server room perfectly fine working like normal you know all of the lights blinking lovely green colors amazing no problem there so i'm like hmm, that's interesting so I, um, I get on the phone to my boss, I'm like, hey, um, got a slight problem, uh, we, we don't have any internet, and the screen is flickering on and off, and he's like, hmm, that's strange, because we've only just built this rack, and all of these parts are pretty much new, and we've tested it a lot, what, what's wrong? So he, he comes in, mind you, this is in the center of town, um, our office is like, like 15 20 minutes away this was at nine o'clock in the morning this is like peak rush hour traffic it takes him like nearly 45 minutes to get in pain so anyway i i managed to i managed to hook um things keep getting worse i know i told you i had a story i told you i had a story that's it's, it's a story that's for sure um so anyway i'm like well i can't just sit here for the next 45 50 minutes until their break without a live stream okay so i somehow connect i don't somehow i get a get a usb so we use um a thing called like an atom mini extreme switcher um to switch our live stream today um which is like a pretty like a pretty professional sort of piece of gear um but it comes with a, like a usb c output that you can connect to your computer usually it's for like um for like updating it and stuff updating the software on it uh, but you can also use it to get a webcam feed out of it. So I'm like, okay, let me rush to where we store, where we were keeping um, the box, which has the um, USB cable in it, and go and get the USB cable. I bet you're thinking that there was no USB cable in there. Luckily, there was. There was a USB cable in there. Don't worry. So I plug it in. I'm like, perfect, fine. Let's crack up OBS. Boom, problem solved. Easy clap. Will be the best, the best live stream ever. So I crack up OBS, you know, just as I do, you know, just, just, just as I do, you know, I crack up OBS. I'm like, okay, so let's, let's add a new source. I'm like, okay, we need to go into video capture device and we add one. I'm like, atom. And then I go like, okay. And then I select the, the source that I need and, um, it doesn't show up. I'm like, why, why does it not show up? Why, why, why is it not showing up? What the heck? So I, so I unplug it. 
and plug it back in because you know obviously obviously it doesn't work the first time you need to do it again still doesn't show up so i'm like hmm okay that's interesting so i go i go to the other device that we were using which we used to actually stream the web presenter which is basically a wee little box about this big that um gets an ethernet line in and just sends out a live stream problem solved easy peasy you just give it feed in feed out good thing about that is you can connect a webcam to it however the the webcam um output thing um was a usb-c cable now the laptop that i was using only had one usb-c input that was for the power so i'm like hmm okay C could i theoretically possibly maybe not have it powered for the next 30 minutes while live streaming so i try it i'm like okay what, what's the worst that could happen plug it in doesn't recognize either i'm like why 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 do you not recognize this this should work this should work so i'm 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 like ripping out my hair at this point i'm surprised they still have any anymore <laughs> this is such a ridiculous story that is so true oh my gosh um but yeah so like i'm i'm stressing i'm really stressing i don't stress much but i was stressing hard um so i'm like okay that's not gonna work we're gonna scrap that i put the cable back away i'm like okay we gotta try with the we gotta try with the the other thing again so i plug in the usb c to the usb a whatever cable again try and work it again open up obs i restart it i restart it wanted to do updates but i'm like nah we can't do updates we don't got time for updates so i, I plug it in i'm like i i go i i I need to explain i go here i'm like uh new new video capture device i'm like atom okay and then and then i go into properties and i make manage to make it work it works it's amazing it's amazing it works it, problem solved problem solved however i wasn't getting any audio which is kind of bad because if you're using a live stream you know it's it's not great if all of a sudden I know you couldn't hear what I was saying. That was on purpose. Imagine you couldn't hear anything. I was talking, but you, you couldn't hear anything. That's not good. Especially for a live stream. Like, that's bad. <laughs> this could be a whole sitcom episode. I know! I know! But this is real. This is real. Um. So yeah, we're like, pro perfect. Okay, I'm, I'm, great. How am I going to do this? So I go into, I go into audio devices. Because for those of you who don't know. Hold up, I need to show you. For those of you who don't know, you go add new audio um, audio input device, basically a microphone. Obviously, I've got some already. I know how to do this. I, I use OBS all the time. So I add one. Nothing coming through. Just just nothing. Nothing coming through at all. I'm like, oh, that's fun. The one the one named Blackmagic, because it's Blackmagic who, who's the company that make the thing. Not coming through. Nothing at all, even though there's plenty of stuff theoretically coming through it. I'm like, so does it not come through USB? So then I'm like, okay, what happens if I try the the laptop's microphone itself? I know it's going to sound absolutely shit, but what happens if I try it? Nothing. Just just nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. From the laptop's microphone. It was working five minutes ago, but now it's not. Pain. Pain is all I'm thinking. All I'm thinking is pain. How is this possible? What story is this? This is the story of my day for the last two days. You've missed so much, and I'm not going to recap it at all. Um, it is pain, I can tell you that. Um, basically, my pain, painful experience of the last two days. So anyway, I'm like, okay, what what are we doing? What are we doing? Like, wh how can I do this? So I go to this, the third option. There's three options. There was the there was the black magic option, which wasn't working. There was the 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 laptop's microphone wasn't working and then there's a thing called microphone array and i'm like what the heck is that what does that even mean i've never seen that in my life ever um it'll be going up on my second channel actually i might make a main channel video out of this just for fun i don't know but um it'll go up on my second channel later um i'm like what the hell is this like i've never seen this option before so i put it on and it works and i'm like okay as long as it's working that's fine the problem is it sounds so bad like it keeps dropping out it's like if you're going through a tunnel and you're trying to talk to someone on the phone and it like cuts out all the time and it's really muffled that's what it sounded like but i'm like it's better than no sound at all so i start the live stream 
I start the live stream. During this, by the way, during this, the um the lady the lady who's our client, the event organizer for the event itself, not for the hotel, for the event, um, has emailed me like six times in like five minutes saying, um, the stream has died. The stream's died. Why can't people see the live stream? Please help, help, help. And then I think the last one she said was help in all caps with three exclamation marks. And I'm like, oh gosh, please. So my phone's blowing up um, while I'm trying to fix this issue. Then she comes over to me. She comes over to me. She runs over during the middle of someone's speech. I have absolutely no idea what's happening in the room. I hope that everything's fine because I'm not focused on that at all. Um, so... So she comes running over to me. She's she's a she's she's a nice lady, okay? She's a nice lady. Nothing against her. She runs over to me and she's like, um, I've I've had reports from email that the live stream is down. Do do you know anything about this? And I'm like, yes, 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 I'm working on it, working on it, working on it. And and I somehow like managed to get her to go away because she was flustering me even more. And um she then five minutes later sends, still not working in an email. <laughs> and I'm like, I so I managed to get it started again, and then and then I know the audio is bad. I know it. I go out and call my boss and say, right, I've I've started the stream up again. Audio terrible. What can I? What what do we need to do to fix this problem? And he's like, I'm on my way. I've got another. I think I know what the issue is. I think it's our 12 volt um, power supply that we put in. Um, that's supplying the monitor, the Ethernet switch, the e router, and also the 4G router that we have, which is our backup in case our internet died. Theoretically, the way that we've got it set up is that if, if our internet dies from the venue itself, it goes to a 4G router, which is basically like, you think your phone has like data that you can use from like 4G and stuff. That's what it is, basically. It's basically a phone router. You slap a SIM card and problem solved, easy peasy. However, that was also not working, so we couldn't even get internet from that. So, I'm streaming off Wi-Fi, which, don't do that. Not recommended at all. Um, I mean, I used to do that for these streams, but, like, if you're doing it in a professional setting, never do that. I'm surprised the Wi-Fi stood up so well. I was honestly surprised by that. But anyway, so I'm, I'm like, on the phone to my boss, what, what do we do? And he's like, I know what it is. We need to get the 12-volt ba battery supply sorted. So, he, he, he's coming with a whole bunch of extra, like, plugs and cables and things and mabobs and all of those sort of stuff. But he's like 45 minutes away because traffic. Great. He's like, when's the when's the break? And I'm like, it's technically at 10. So he's like, okay, I'll be there. I'll be there before 10, and we'll get it sorted. Go tell the client that I will fix it in the break. I'm like, okay, bet. So I go. I, I then I then as soon as I finish that call, the event lady at the hotel she comes up to me and says, is everything fixed? Is it is it okay? Is it bad? And she's like, she's like, I swear she's nearly in tears. I'm not kidding. She's nearly in tears. She's had an absolute nightmare of a week. Um, it's only Thursday. <laughs> she's in tears, basically. And I'm like, no, but I'm working on it. It'll be fine. It'll be perfectly fine. Calm down. Don't worry. It's all okay. And she's like, I'm sorry I've dragged you into this. You've been cursed by me. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think it's your fault, but like... You know, I'm sure we'll we'll get through it. It'll be fine. <laughs> She's so nice as well. She's so nice. I felt so bad. I felt so bad, but I, I can't be... I need to be like... I just need to reassure her because I'm, I'm feeling exactly the same, man. Um, but anyway. This is such a ridiculous story. <laughs> man, this is not scripted. Um, so, so yeah. I, I finally figure out how to get the issue fixed with the audio okay so i start googling because google solves every single problem you need and more however all of the things to solve this problem were youtube videos and i'm like i can't watch a youtube video on my phone in the middle of a conference that's way too much noise so i'm like okay i have to do it myself i have to become google so i became google i became google okay i i plugged in things and i fiddled with doodads and did all of the things, and somehow, it just started working. You know, it just started working out of nowhere. The audio input that I swear I had in for the first time just started working. Problem solved. Everything was great. All good. Then comes along the break. My boss comes in, 
and he's like, right, I know what the issue is. We must fix it now. He's a man on a mission. He's furious. He's fuming. His steam is coming out of his ears. He's like, how can we have two gear pieces failing in one, one job? This is not good enough. I'm like, I know. I know, but it's not my fault. I didn't do anything. It's not me. <laughs> and he's like, I know. So we fix it. Problem solved. Easy peasy. All good. Problem solved. We, we, just before the break ends, everything's working. We've got the stream back onto the normal thing. Good, good shout. Everything is great. I go and get some morning tea because free food. Who's going to pass up free food? Not me either. Don't ever pass up free food. That's the best part. Um, so anyway, we're like problems all sort of won't happen again. Easy peasy. So we're in the next session. This session goes from about 10, 15 till, um, till 12, 15, 12, 30 ish. Finished it at 12, 30, about basically. I think it was like 12, 25 or something when it actually finished, but just, just pretend this is, this is between 10, uh, 10, 15 and 12, 30. This off, this, this afternoon, this morning, this afternoon. So, so all's going well. It's 11 o'clock. Shit hits the fan again. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, um, let me give you a brief example because I know most of you probably have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about because it's going to get really technical here. These things here, these things here, like if I do this, this is called a scene. So, on the switcher that I use, um, there's a whole bunch of buttons. And basically the buttons change the scenes. So, for example, I have I have a stream deck here. Is that shown? Uh, I can't turn it around enough. My, oh, I can't. USB not quite long enough. I have a whole bunch of buttons here, which I can like press and it changes things. So if I press that, that's the, that's my face. If I press this. And this is, this is my face. This is the gameplay. So while I'm, while I'm trying to switch the um, stream to make sure that people on the stream can see things, all of a sudden, as soon as I switch from um, the camera, to the slides it starts like absolutely tanking um how can i easily explain this um so things like youtube hold up let me just pick a card when it will load game's being really broken by the way today in case anyone's just joining welcome those of you who are joining i'm not really reading chat at the moment i apologize um anyway things like youtube we're not streaming on youtube but um pretend that it's like youtube They'll give us things like stream is healthy, you know, that no that's how you know that um, your stream is doing okay. So like generally the levels are green, orange means uh, you've got issues, red means very unstable, please fix, and if there's nothing there, that means that the stream is down, like completely down. Um, and that's not good, that's not good, you don't want that. Um, so all of a sudden... There's this thing called bitrate, which is a funny wee little thing. That's basically how much like data you're sending out to the platform. Um, generally, if you're doing a 1080p stream, you want a decently high-ish bitrate, usually around like 6,000-ish is pretty decent um, for live streaming. That's what I use while I'm streaming to um, YouTube usually around six six thousand five hundred ish around there um if you're doing lower quality you can go lower but generally around six thousand four thousand to six thousand is kind of where you want to be sitting um all of a sudden my uh my wee little device that i'm using to stream off starts sending like 17 17 000 in the bit rate which is like ridiculous that's like super duper high that's like that's like higher than 4k quality and then all of a sudden, it starts caching. Now, th this goes back to a previous a previous problem that we've had. Um, caching is an issue, basically, where the amount of data that is getting sent out of the computer or whatever you're streaming from does not match what the system is taking in. So you've got more data in the in the storage of the or the memory of the device. Dan is being sent out, which is not good. If that gets too high, it'll crash the stream. So you want it to be like a significantly 
you ideally you don't want it to be high at all like you want it to be zero percent zero percent cache is the best because it means there's everything that you're sending is going straight out there's no delay nothing um and it's not like infinitely stacking the cache which will crash the stream so you don't want to do that all of a sudden we start getting cache numbers of like 80 percent which is ridiculous because that's nearly a hundred and at a hundred percent the stream dies and i'm like why why is this doing that only when i change scenes so i stopped not changing scenes i'm like okay i'm just gonna put it on as like the the picture or like the slides and then a wee little image of like the the room down the side and then all of a sudden the stream just dies i'm like oh that's great luckily i picked this up really really quickly this wasn't an internet issue this time i have no idea what caused it like absolutely no clue at all because at that point our cache was down completely it had, it had gone down significantly by then i think it was at like two percent which shouldn't shouldn't have any issues um but the stream just dies just cuts off completely i'm like great that's fantastic absolutely tremendous so anyway i, I try to start it again and it's like nah sorry not gonna work for you and at this point, I'm about to scream. Like, I am so pissed off. I'm about to, like, actually scream. So I'm like, okay, so let me just leave it for, like, half a minute. 30 seconds. Turn it off. 30 seconds. Leave it off. Start it again. Luckily, it starts. And then comes the issue. The audio quality. After I started that stream again, all of a sudden... It was just a wee little beep, 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 like just in the background. And I'm like, how, 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 how does this happen? Because it wasn't there before. So there's just this annoying beep and I can't unhear it. Like I, if I hear something in like a piece, I just cannot unhear it. Like I will be fixated on hearing that. That's why I hate editing things sometimes, because, like, if I hear just one annoying little thing, I'm fixated on that, and if I hear it over and over and over again, I will have to, like, completely redo the take or whatever. But, like, this is live. I, I can't fix this. I don't know where this beep is coming from, why it has started. So I'm like, okay, let me try and diagnose where it's coming from. So I take out the headphones from the laptop that I'm monitoring the stream on. I put them into the, um, to the switcher because there's a headphone jack on there. I'm like, okay, so is it coming through here? So I put in the headphones, listen, I unmute it, I listen, I turn up the volume to max, and all I hear, beep, beep, beep. I'm like, oh my gosh, why is it beeping? So I send a text to my boss saying, we have another problem, beeping, it is happening. And he's like, what do you mean beeping? So he, he goes onto the live stream on his phone and he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't hear a beep, but I swear I'm hearing a beep. Like I, I can hear a beep. He's like, I can hear static. I'm like, I know, I know there's static. That's the least of my worries at the moment. There's a beep and it is annoying. And I don't know what's causing the beep either. So I'm like, okay, we'll just finish off. We'll, luckily, luckily this was like 1130 when I noticed this and there's only like, an hour left slightly less so um so i'm like okay it's annoying but i need to deal with it i just need to just understand that it's there and deal with it but i just cannot i cannot and i'm like i'm like racking my brain what the heck is causing the beeping because i have no clue i have never heard this beep ever in my life ever like it is just it's not even that loud like it's the most faintest beep ever but it's so annoying and it's just in the back of your mind and it just eats at you so i'm i just i just kind of lose it I'm, I'm going like insane here i'm like swinging in the back of my chair like what the heck is happening what is my life and there's just still this beep this just annoying beep in the back of my headphones so bad anyway the stream finishes problem solved all is good and that is the end of the stream I, I don't really have a satisfying ending because it's just the beep that I don't know and just the dropout that I just don't know I'm sorry I don't have a satisfying ending but that's kind of that's that's my last two days um that's my last two days 
um, welcome those of you who have joined us while I was saying. Um, but yeah, um, that, that's just, that's just been my last two days, today and yesterday. And honestly, I'm like, I like came home and I screamed a little bit, not gonna lie. Pain. Pain. Anyway, hi River, how's it going? Um, isn't that like a stream deck? Yeah, that's, I have a stream deck. That is what I showed before. That is what I showed before. Um, a Wiz server's being weird. Yeah, they are. They are being really weird. Really, really, really weird. Um, I try so hard to annoy annoying background noises, but trying to annoy it makes me pay more attention. Agree. Completely agree. Completely agree. That was ADK. You should probably get emotional compensation. I wish. I wish, dude. I wish. So, yeah. It's just been... It's been a day. It's been an absolute day, that's for sure. Man. But yeah, never a dull moment. Well, I hope that story was worth it. I hope that story was everything you wanted and more. Because, um... I have to say, it, it hits me quite close to home. You know? I am in this story and I don't like it. We're at that kind of level. So, yeah, how long have I been live? Oh, nearly a whole hour. That's not too bad. Right, anyway, we are defeating these these little mans. These little mans. Don't like these little mans. I don't like defeating them. They're too nice. They're, they're so cute and adorable and I don't like them defeating them it makes me feel so sad so sad but yeah i hope you enjoyed that story i i don't have stories often this is like the one time that i actually have a story i don't do these sort of story times often because i'm just a boring kind of guy i don't really do much other than work and sleep and eat and stream that's literally all i do also should i release a video today should i release my update video I feel like I've just been sitting on that for too long, and I feel like I just need to release it, even though the update hasn't actually come out yet. Should I do that after stream? Should I release that video? Should I publish that? Because I feel like it. I feel like we should. You know, I feel like I should do that. I feel like I should do that, even though the update hasn't come out yet. But I don't know when it's coming out because they're just taking their sweet ass time with it. I'm literally saying it was pain. It was pain. I I hate I, the last two days have been a nightmare for me. An absolute nightmare. Oh my gosh, game, please. I'm probably not gonna be playing much longer after this though, because the game is being so bad, so bad, and terrible. I really wish they would just release the update. No, you shouldn't. I should wait. I should wait until the update comes out. Is that what I should? When I got home today, I went to bed for like four hours and dreamed about my job, and I deserve to be paid for dreaming about that. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Man, I was talking to my boss yesterday. Um, I don't know how many of you know, but um, the city that I live in, we had earthquakes like pretty like bad earthquakes it basically destroyed the whole city um in like 2011 um so like our whole city has basically been rebuilt over the last like however long since 2011 way too long way too long and we've got a new convention center that opened up earlier this year um and um we were talking yesterday about like how how inflation's going and stuff because like it's pretty high it's pretty high um and they're like the the event lady at the hotel was like we just can't find any stuff there's just like no stuff at all like we're, we're paying like we're trying to we're putting jobs out there that are like worth way more than they should be but we're just still not getting anybody and then my boss is like yeah i probably need to find some more staff as well he says this in front of me which is kind of funny <laughs> and and i'm like yeah well i mean the problem is that eventually, if like companies put up their like like wages way too much, it's gonna increase inflation anyway. 
which is not a great thing. I don't, I don't agree with people being paid absolutely terribly, but like, if you increase wages significantly, which is what you have to do now to get stuff, um, then that's also going to like increase inflation a lot because a lot more people have cash, and especially those lower, generally the lower income earners, statistically spend a lot more, which doesn't help inflation, um, because they've just got cash to burn, and that's not great. Um, because it just means more cash is cycling through the economy, which is generally not great. Um, but anyway, and my boss is going on, like, saying, the convention center. Um, and then the hotel lady starts laughing, because it's an absolute, it's a, it's, I've just sworn a lot this stream, I apologize, but it's a shit show. Like, that is the most terribly managed run organization in the whole city. Like, it is so bad it is terrible they they recently fired or not fired the three head operators of all of the technical stuff so basically like the key people to make the to make the whole convention center run just resigned all of them on the same day all because they couldn't have enough staff and they were working like they were working literally well over 72 hours a, a week which is like ridiculous because generally a normal working week is like 40 hours, you know, and this in audio visual industry, you know, you can, you can kind of think that you'll be doing about 50, maybe 60 if you're pushing it, but 72, that, what, 48, like three straight days, I think, what, 72 divided by 24, uh, 72 divided by 24, three straight days of work, like three full days, no sleep, just work. Not that they were actually doing that, but like 72 hours in a whole week is ridiculous. Like absolutely ridiculous. All because there's just no staff. Like absolutely no staff at all. So they all quit on the same day, which is great. So they're con currently looking for like a whole bunch of people to replace them. And they're being, they're like offering $23 an hour, which in New Zealand, very, very low. The current minimum wage, um, let me just find that. I don't know that off the top of my head. Um, is $21.20 an hour. Plus with the, like, the cost of everything at the moment, like, skyrocketing by the day, $23 an hour for, a, like, a head job where you're going to be, like, guaranteed to be working, like, 72 hours a week is like nothing absolutely nothing to put it in context my job that i do now i get paid um 25 dollars an hour and i would be qualified enough even though i have only done this job for a very small amount of time um to be to be at that top job not that I would ever do that, but, like, I'm getting paid $25. Like, eh, that's pretty low. So, anyway, they've got major staffing issues, and they've had to cancel, like, half of their events in the new convention center since they've opened, which was only, like, two months ago. Like, it is so terrible. So terrible. Um, it's about $15 US after conversions, so double our minimum wage. Yeah, our minimum wage is quite high, but we also have, like, significantly higher prices of everything as well. Um, because we're so isolated. Um, that we, we need to, like, import a lot of stuff, so our cost of living is generally a lot higher than it is in the United States. So, our minimum wage has always been higher than that, but over the last few years it's gone up quite significantly. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's low for New Zealand, but the US would have people scrambling. Yeah, but like, the issue is that if you if you put that into perspective of like how much you pay for stuff in the United States, generally, you're getting a lot of a a lot cheaper stuff apart from like, you know, healthcare and stuff. Most of that stuff is like. A lot cheaper than it is here because you don't have to import it um because you guys actually like produce stuff yourself a little bit 
Whereas we, we have to import like literally everything. Like nearly everything we get imported at this point because the past governments have like destroyed all of the industrial like side of New Zealand. And even if it is, the high like wage rates make it basically like not worth for a lot of like a lot of the basic sort of things to be operating here. So instead, it's all done in, like, China and stuff, where it's, like, super cheap and you can just have slaves because, you know, what's cheaper than paying people, forcing people to work for you illegally? So, yeah. Thanks a lot, China. Appreciate it. Not. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah. But, like, it's, it's, it's so freaking stupid. So stupid. I'm right though, I know. I know I'm right. Like, it's terrible. Don't get me wrong. I hate I hate that like there's like a, a big I mean the problem is that with businesses it has to be beneficial at the end of the day. Like it has to be it has to make profit. Otherwise you're not really doing a business. Which sucks because like you you're gonna have people trying to squeeze as much profit out as possible i don't agree with people trying to squeeze as much profit out as possible but i agree that there should be profit for business especially in times like at the moment where like all of a sudden your whole business could be just not allowed to operate for like a whole year you know how are you gonna like pay your staff if you can't operate for a whole year you know unless you're making a profit and saving it um but like then i also don't agree with them just being like okay we're not going to work here anymore and we'll just go and do slave labor in china you know because that's not right either that's not right you can't do that that's like terrible but yeah it's it's a bit of an issue i think i think that's one of the issues that the world is facing at the moment like how how it comes to making making monies but also being more ethical about it um and i don't think china is helping the problem at the moment but then also do people like buying cheap chinese knockoffs like yeah they're cheap but they're gonna break very soon oh my gosh i didn't tell you the other part of the story oh my gosh so we have we um we have tvs at work um that we hire out this is this is funny as well you're gonna love this chat this this kind of goes back into the first story that i was telling um we have tvs at work and you know they're fine they work they work um a few months ago we were at a job at the convention center funnily enough um where all of a sudden just the remote wouldn't work like th it's funny because like tvs nowadays they used to have buttons on the side where you could like turn them on this one just doesn't it's too new they just don't they just don't do that anymore which is so stupid don't understand why um but yeah so it doesn't have any buttons on the side the remote stops working and we're like hmm that's strange so we replace the batteries still not working not at all just just completely broken not working so we go we go back and we get another remote because we have we have another tv that's exactly the same and the remotes can work for both problem solved that remote works easy peasy we go back into the back into the um, workshop and we're like okay we need to fix this remote so i plug in the tv that wasn't working with the remote um and i go and press the remote and it works so we're like hmm, that's interesting why does it work now so that's fun fast forward to uh earlier this week my boss goes and gets that tv again because his one at home has like it doesn't do it doesn't connect to his like ethernet anymore because of a system update or something so he's like okay we'll just retire this one into into the work stock and um i i will i will take one off work which um which is like that's fine i don't see a problem with that i don't think the accountant would be too happy with that but like eh, we'll see um so he's like okay i'll just i'll just use one from work we'll swap it out he in the weekend he goes and um he goes in and uh like takes it out of the case goes and starts it up uses the remote doesn't work doesn't work the remote just doesn't work so he's like 
Hmm. Okay, Brent. Uh, when when you get in on Monday, I need you to fix this remote because it's not working. So I go to work on Monday. I'm like, okay, remote needs to be fixed. Let's do this. Problem solved. Easy peasy. First thing I do, replace the batteries. Starts working. And he's like, huh. Ah. That's interesting, because I also replaced the batteries before I started testing it again. And I'm like, hmm, that's strange. So, I take a video that it works after I replace the batteries, because I'm like, he's, he's not going to believe me. He's not going to believe me, because it's just ridiculous. So I take a video, I've, got, I've still got it on my phone, but I'm not going to show you. It's just me turning on TV with a remote, nothing, nothing special about that. Um, he comes home later later that afternoon and i like tell him i've got it i've got it all set up you can go and test it yourself um but it was working for me when i tested it and i tested it again um just before i was about to leave and it was still working then so it should theoretically be working i shouldn't have hit it well um so he goes in that evening and it's not working again <laughs> nothing has been done to it since I last tested it and it was working fine. So he's like, we're gonna have to go to Panasonic and get a refund because what the heck is this remote? How does that work though? Like, how how does it all of a sudden it just doesn't work? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. Have they released any new worlds? It depends when you last played. They generally release a new world every um, October, November-ish. Um, this is Caramel. Uh, there's Lemuria, which comes after Caramel. Um, and there is a new one coming at the end of this year, which I'm not going to spoil the name of because that is way too big spoiler. Way too big spoiler. If you want that, go to Twitter. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's like... This man just doesn't want to fight me. I get it. I'm ugly. Yikes. Um, but yeah, that's... That's been, that's been my week. It's been a pretty terrible week, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Been a pretty terrible week. 